you're here at last. Hello, Aunt Fanny. Well, children, are you happy that you're spending your holidays here again at Kiran Cottage? I'm sure it won't be boring here. We'll make sure of that. <laughs> I really believe you adventurers about that. But first, come on in with your bags. And, Dick, could you please fetch George so that we can have dinner? Where is George? If only I knew. I think she went down to the beach to calm down a bit. We just had a little spat. She was very impolite to our new guest, Professor Johnson. Your Uncle Quinton scolded her and sent her out of the house. Where exactly is George? I think she went to the beach. She must be there somewhere. Julian, could you please take the bags? Anne's helping with the sandwiches, and you, Dick, please go and fetch George. Timmy, old boy. Nice to see you. Okay, okay. How did you find me? What a friendly welcome. But Aunt Fanny just said that you're miffed. Oh, come on. Don't pay any attention to Mum. She's almost as bad as this professor chap. What's the matter now? This chap has just shown up here, just appeared out of nowhere, and wants to know everything about the old wreck, and everyone starts running around. But I don't like that chap. He's got something up his sleeve. What does your mysterious guest have up his sleeve? I don't know exactly either, but I'll certainly find out. Let's go home first now. I can't wait to see Anne and Julian. Whose ship was it anyway? Dad says it belonged to some great-great-grandfather of mine. It sank during a storm in front of the island. That information doesn't help much. Well, I don't know much more than that either. Gosh, since when have you had such a super hiding place? I discovered it just a few weeks ago. It probably used to be some kind of smuggler's cove. It was full of empty boxes, but some rocks have fallen down at the back. Just help yourselves. I'm sure you're awfully hungry after your long trip. This tea is just how I like it. Strong enough to stand a teaspoon up in it. Where are you going, Georgina? You haven't finished your sandwich. 
Can't I even go out for just a minute? Not until you've finished your plate. Boy, oh boy. I certainly have been looking forward to a good dinner after a long day. Gosh, I'm starving. Mmm, delicious. Aunt Fanny has outdone herself again. Are you happy that Anne, Dick and Julian are here, George? I'll say. I'd love to show them where the wreck is tomorrow. May I? Why are you all so interested in that old wreck? The professor can't get it out of his mind anymore. He's still on the telephone to a colleague. I guess he has to find out more about the wreck. George, something's fishy here. We have to watch the professor more closely. I'd really like to know why there's all this fuss about the wreck. I think he has something up his sleeve. Why don't you go and find out? Now then, enjoying your dinner, children? Would anyone like more tea? My, you're so polite all of a sudden, Georgina. Yes, I'll have another cup. Ah, George, I see I brought you up well after all. You can be well behaved if you really try. Off you go now. Wait a moment. Gosh, he almost saw me. But I can hardly hear a thing this way. What's that? Wait a second. Gosh, that was a close call. I have to find a way to open the door quietly. Well, there you are. Any problems, George? I need a drop of oil for my bike. The oil can must still be in the tool shed. No, no, I, I haven't found the treasure yet, but I'll dive down again early tomorrow morning. I definitely need a map of the ship. The treasure could be in any of the hidden holes. There's no chance of finding them without the map. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, yes, you're right. If there is such a map, then it's here in Kirin House. Well, because the captain of the ship lived here once in the house. He's an ancestor of the family here. Look, I have to ring off now. Someone's here. Were you listening, you little toad? I know exactly what you're up to. You're looking for a treasure in our ship. But you don't know where it's hidden. You need a map for that and you won't get it. I'll make sure of that. Now listen, you impudent young brat. This is none of your business. Your father will give me the map, all right? If you cross my path and spy on me again, you and your friends will be sorry. Ha! Whoever messes with the famous five will be sorry. Georgina! Timmy! Time for bed. Oh, I hate it when she calls me Georgina, just like a baby. Come here, Tim. Let's get out of here. Morning, children. Uh, Georgina, we do have something to discuss. You know the framed technical drawing of the ship in my library? The one of the wreck? The one hanging over the fireplace? Yes, of course. 
That's of the wreck in front of Treasure Island. I didn't know that. Did you take it down last night and take it with you? You were in my room. It's not there anymore. No. Why should I take it? Don't act so innocent. Last night you were raving about this wreck, and now this morning the drawing is gone. That can't be a coincidence. No, it wasn't me, I swear. But our mysterious guest certainly knows more about it. He was saying something yesterday on the telephone about a map that he needs. Have you asked him already? Georgina, for the last time, I don't want you to talk like that about Professor Johnson. That is total nonsense. Shame on you. None of you will leave the house until the drawing has turned up again. Is that clear? Besides, I want you to leave me in peace. I'm getting sick of your childish games. House arrest until the map is hanging again on the wall and that's enough of that. Well, that's just great. Our first day of the holidays and Uncle Quentin is already furious. What's the matter? I don't get it.